All right, Andrew from WS Ag is here, and he is going to be putting downforce pressure monitors, sensors, on the corn planter. All right, Andrew, what are we doing here? All right, we're gonna take this row unit and put the gauge wheel sensor in. It's a pretty easy install. Uh, I'll show you quick, basically, the process that I go about doing it. Uh, we'll just take the gauge wheel sensor off. We'll take the uh, sensor, or we'll take the gauge wheel off. We'll take the depth adjuster out and uh, put the new sensor on, which is in that box there. And then we got to put the module on, which goes right up here inside of the row unit. Okay. So I'll get started here. Cool. Snap ring tool makes this job a lot easier. So that piece comes out just like that. So what does that do? I know a lot so, of people watch and will know, but just for the people who don't. Yep, yeah, so this is your depth adjustment. Um, every one of these notches on top of here is, I believe it's a quarter inch, I'd have to check the manual. But I believe it's a quarter inch every time you move one notch up. So that's gonna determine your seed depth placement. Cool. So, and the unit that we're replacing this with, when you get these boxes from Ag Leader, you've got an entire row unit kit with module and sensor. It's pretty nifty uh, packaging design too. Yeah, it's really good packaging. So this is the new unit that's got the sensor built in. And we're reusing, they call this the mustache. We're reusing the mustache and the handle and the spring. And it goes like this. So I'm gonna take that apart. And then this is gonna go in. So on this planter, this is we're setting up a two-channel hydraulic downforce on this planter. Initially, we're just gonna monitor it and see how much pressure we have back on the gauge wheels, uh, hoping to eventually add the uh, um, hydraulic accumulators on uh, to adjust down pressure. So for the beginning here, we're just gonna monitor it on the 1200 in command monitor. So these same sensors will be used on the hydraulic downforce. Will they read off what these sensors are reading or how is that gonna work? So yes, yeah, so this is just measuring the uh, pressure that the ground engages to the gauge wheels. So then this is basically the first part of hydraulic downforce system for Meg Leader. The second part is of that valve block that actually sends hydraulic fluid to the accumulators. And that valve block has two sensors in it telling you how much down pressure is being applied. So you have, basically, when you're running the full system, you're getting two bar graphs, one showing your load on the gauge wheels, the other one showing the actual down pressure that it's applying. So there's two sizes of snap rings on here. So this is a larger snap ring. This holds the spring on the handle. There you go, comes off like that. Pull the spring out. Grab the new sensor. Handle back in. Spring on. The bolt on the mustache is the same size bolt, uh, 15 sixteenths that's used to put the gauge wheel on. Okay, grab that. We don't recommend holding onto this with just your hand and doing it. Right, Travis? Uh. <laughs> I blame myself. I should have known better than to hold it. Yep, and then you can trust these WS guys. <laughs> and there is a specific way this mustache goes on the bottom. So just make sure you're putting it on the same way. They come off. So then I've got one just to verify that I've got everything attached the right way with the mustache on the bottom. Like that. 
Split ring back on. And there you go. You got it in there. So. So the first couple might take, you know, 15 to 20 minutes, but then once you get the hang of it, it should go pretty good. So how many sensors are we installing on the planter? We're putting eight. So now if we're doing row by row, individual row down force, then there'd be one on every row. This being a two-channel system, the max sensors this system can support is four per channel. So, so the second part of this is up here. So I just took the nut off the inside of there. This is the bracket that the module goes on. So we're gonna put it right there like so. Put this nut back on. That's a carriage bolt. So here's the module. That's designed to go right on that bracket. What's the module do? Uh, this module is communicating back to the master module. This would kind of be considered a slave module. Goes back to the master module, telling that, that this is this specific row unit. And that's the pressure from this row unit and it's all in what they call a CAN bus controlled area network system so this module will be associated in the monitor with this specific row okay. this gets plugged in just like so we'll zip tie that down and then we'll run the rest of our cabling cool